Hey, sore throat, what's up? It's the Culture Detective here. And um, today I'm gonna do another uh, school update video. Originally, I wanted <coughs> to do a, ha a TV show review of how to get away with murder. But I just can't do, I can't do that right now because I, I'm just pretty sick. I have a sore throat and I'm constantly coughing, <coughs> as you can see and hear. So uh, I'm just gonna do a video that's a little more lightweight, and that is a um, school update. Lightweight in video format, heavy in the context. I actually want to talk about uh, school a lot today because today is actually sports day. <coughs> it's not a thing in the USA. It's uh, it doesn't exist in the USA, um, but um, it's a school tradition that every year we will hold one aquatic meet, aka swimming gala, <coughs> and two sports days, and that's a tradition that every school in Hong Kong follows. Um, every elementary school uh, does this sports day thing. Uh, once a year and we do this three times a year anyway today is sports day one next Friday will be sports day two <clears throat> So um a lot of things had happened a lot of interesting things had happened, but also uh, Quite a number of sad things are still happening. So yes, this is May part one Which starts off at uh, on May 6th uh, Yeah, I am um, you know, I um I probably probably forgot about a few things uh, about uh, what happened on May sixth or May eighth or ninth because I forgot to <coughs> write my diary to fill in my diary. Um, lately, I've been just so busy I can't keep up with the diary. So first of all, my phone is going crazy. Uh, my power button is not functional is not functioning properly so it's always turning off and on again uh the screen and it's always popping uh the the uh the shutdown menu is always popping up and it's really annoying and uh <coughs> man i'm really sick i can barely uh speak in complete sentences now so because of what happened on may 3rd uh w when i actually literally tossed garbage into Topher's school bag I thought the best way for me to piss Topher off is to throw trash into his school bag. So uh, I thought, uh, you know, what if I um, tossed some uh, toothpicks into his school bag? It's small, it's light, it's one thin line segment, nobody's gonna notice it. <coughs> I'm just gonna slip a toothpick into his school bag every fucking day. So I did it. I did it from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, I did it for four days. It, plus May 3rd, last Friday, because um, I threw like a piece of tissue paper. So uh, yeah, I've been throwing trash into his school bag for one week already, and yet he still hadn't noticed it. He's that dumb. <coughs> also, uh, on I think around May 5th or May 4th, um, uh, Natalie suddenly spoke to me in WhatsApp. And, um, yeah. What? I and Natalie aren't really friends. Uh, <coughs> but she decided to randomly text me. And it's not some sort of, you know, business text, like, like, you know, like, form, formal stuff. Like, it's like a friendly text. Natalie suddenly spoke to me, uh, and told me that Kingsley is actually a very deep person. That even though he feels, uh, he seems very, uh, confident and, uh, extroverted on the outside, actually in the inside, he's very... Uh, lonely and insecure and I'm like Bitch, please. Okay. I know Kingsley's not a very shallow person but Natalie saying that to me 
is like she's dis- <laughs> Sorry. It's like she's, you know, similar to many other people in the world. I also have a lot of, uh, <coughs> I guess, uh, bad feelings. Uh, I definitely feel lonely at many points in my life, usually in periods of times. Um, ever since ninth grade, it's been three years now, and I have yet to break this curse of loneliness, but one day I'll break it. I'll make sure. I won't, I won't let fate come to me. I will come to the fate. I will create my own fate. I will break the curse of loneliness by myself, all by myself and with no one else's help. Um, yeah, anyway, <coughs> Natalie is being weird and all, and I'm like, wait, why are you saying this to me, like, right now, all of a sudden? She's like, wait, we're friends, right? We can text each other, right? And I, I didn't say anything, but I thought... We're not friends. Come on. We were never friends. Even though I and Natalie knew each other way longer before uh, Natalie knew Leo or Pink or Topher or Adam. But yet Natalie is closer to them all instead of me. Instead of me. <coughs> so um, she was never my friend. She was never beside me when I was in pain. Uh, she never um, congratulated me when I, uh, you know, experienced something positive. She was never there to begin with, you know. Ever since seventh grade, she, uh, you know, stole my stuffs and, you know, caused this whole chase thing. And then after that, uh, in 8th grade, uh, we sort of teamed up a little bit, but um, we were friends, but we n never were, actually. We don't really trust each other. Well, I trusted her, but she never really trusted me because she thinks I'm I'm retarded or something. And then in <coughs> in ninth grade, we were actually pretty close to each other for a while until, um, I don't know, until we're not. And ever since, she's just not that close to me. And especially lately. So yeah, either either Natalie is dumb, or she had an amnesia, or she's up to something. Anyway, May 7th totally sucks. Um, uh, you know, uh, friggin... Uh, oh yeah, on, by the way, on May 6th. Uh, there's this whole uh, geography field trip thing where a lot of the people from classes uh, D and E also went to the f went to a field trip, <coughs> and Linda also studies uh, geography uh, unwillingly, forced, uh, forcefully, uh, I think, and um, uh, uh, other people like like Sammy and and um, um, I forgot the name, like. Like, other people like Sammy and Joan were also uh, studying geography with her. And she made this Instagram story... <coughs> wow, I'm dying. She made this Instagram story saying that, Yeah, you have nice legs, but I still have nice tits. <laughs> I swear somebody's gonna take this clip out of, co out of context, and it's gonna be weird AF. I swear, I'm not sexually harassing anyone. You fuckwords. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> Linda's being a thought, so be gone. In PE class, I hang out with, um, Oliver and Russell again, <coughs> and, uh, also a Suki, and, uh, oh, what, what's, what's with the noise, man? Uh, and, uh, we were playing, like, volleyball and all. And I don't know how to play volleyball. I admit it. I'm a loser. I'm useless. I am pointless. And I suck at sports. And I don't know how to play volleyball. I kind of suck. And then after a while, Jordana came in. And Jordana's really, really, really good at sports. 
She's good looking. She's good at sports. She's good at maths. She's good at Chinese. She's good at chemistry. She's good at biology. She's good at economics. She has a lot of friends. She's <coughs> she's Mary Sue, basically. Um, that's why she. I mean, she does. She doesn't suck, but like, ah, uh, come on, Jordana, really, really. Anyway, uh, Jordana came in and started to play volleyball with us, and I'm like, I give up. I give up. I'm gonna embarrass myself in front of her, even though she was. My friend, okay, heavy on the quotation marks. So after that, I, I suddenly became very, very bitter towards my own body. Like, I, I mean, I, I know, I know for a very long time that I'm unhealthy, and my body sucks. <coughs> But it was that on that day when I was like, "Fuck, my body really sucks. Like I hate my body. I hate myself. I have to really, really work really hard. I have to feed food into my mouth until I vomit on every meal. I have to drink a lot of protein. Look, it's this is protein, <coughs> and now I'm sick. I'm too good." Uh, I'm such a loser. Uh, yeah, I'm so weak and, and vulnerable. <coughs> I can't do this, man. I can't. I can't like you know go to the USA if I look like this shit. So I went back to the classroom and slammed my chair because I was mad at myself. And then after that, we have chemistry SBA experiment practical <coughs> thing again, and Topher's. Uh, Topher and I and Adam and Nick are sharing the same table and Topher's being a real bitch ass and um, I was I don't know why but I was in in this state of like dizziness so I I did everything sloppily I you know I you know messed up the whole test it's fucked up and I went back to the classroom and slammed my chair again and uh, after school, there was heavy rain, and everything was fucking wet again. And then we have May 8th. Uh, I totally didn't write anything, so yeah, there's something here, but not really. Um, yeah, um, May 8th, what happened? What, what the fuck happened? Um, let me, let me think. Um, what happened? What happened? Uh, <clears throat> nothing important happened. I mean, yeah, other than, uh, you know, people just preparing for the sports day. And apparently Mary and Linda, you know, they are... I, I don't know if this is a thing in, in the USA, but we have houses. Like, every school, every high school have has four houses. So I'm an orange house. So our school has red, orange, yellow, and green. No blue, because our uniform itself is already blue, so <coughs> it can't be blue. We're all blue. Uh, so I'm in Orange House, and Linda, Mary, and many other people are in Greenhouse. Greenhouse is uh, probably the best one in terms of people. And apparently, you know, uh, usually in the beginning of sports day, the house, um, the house would uh, send these uh, representatives out onto the field to march and uh, to represent the house. So uh, <coughs> Mary and Linda are two of them. And uh, actually Caroline and, and her other friend was also in, in the marching team. <coughs> so that's pretty interesting. You know, uh, on a side note, I have to admit, Mary is the kind of person who looks better and cuter when she's pissed off and when she's angry it's like that's just what it is you know yes on that day i also slipped uh toothpicks into a uh, tofer's bag i um what which restaurant did i go to i forgot fuck um yeah i was with nick on that day as well 
but on the next day, on May 9th, Nick was absent <coughs> because he was sick also. So uh, it's actually the very, very first time that Nick didn't attend school. Uh, so I'm all alone and I was actually waiting for this day because uh, this day is when uh, all the joy in me are all gone and I'm in this very lonely and dark and bitter and cynical position and uh, people are gonna be like whoa man you're you look fucked up <coughs> but no uh, even though in the morning I was really looking bitter and in a bad mood as always but because Nick wasn't there Jordana talked to me uh, voluntarily like in the in the beginning even though it's just a very small talk and it's not like a super close intimate talk it's rare for her to actually speak to me as if she knows me which is actually a big fucking shame. So big, you cannot comprehend it. Because I and Jordana were friends. Okay? And now she's acting like I'm not even her classmate. Like, that's fucked up, man. She either thinks I'm retarded. Or she thinks I'm retarded. <coughs> yeah, uh, anyway. Um, I also talk more to other people, I think. And, uh, <coughs> I followed, uh, the Bean Gang, uh, you know, Marty, Tom, and, you know, Hans, and we had lunch together, and then after school, uh, in physics class, I have no one to speak to, everyone around me in that row of seats are gone, everyone on the row beside me are also gone, I was completely alone, and then Oliver and Suki saw me, and for some reason they were like, He's kind of, he's kind of lonely. You know what? We're, we're going to join him. We're going to join him. <coughs> so they joined me. Oliver and Suki came to me. And I was like, uh, wait, wh 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 what are you doing here? Because that's weird. Why would you empathize with people, you know? And on that day, Suki revealed an insane information insane <coughs> apparently Suki's uh, sister who is six years younger than her and my own brother who is six years younger than me are in the same school the same elementary school and they're in the same class what yes indeed indeed <coughs> I was like what what? What? <laughs> Somebody's gonna make a gif out of this. But yes, that's mind-blowing. What's even more mind-blowing is that Suki and I were actually in the same elementary school. But I never knew her. I never recognized her. Until this day, after one and a half years, I was mind-blown. Uh, but in my defense, um, she was in like the PM and I and Nick uh, were in the AM because, uh, you know, before in elementary school, we don't have to actually study the whole day. We don't actually have to attend school the whole day. Me and Nick, we are in the AM. So uh, we study, uh, we, we attend school from <coughs> uh, 8 AM to like uh, 1 PM. And then um, for people who study in the PM, uh, they attend school from 2 p.m. to like 8 p.m. or something. <coughs> so yeah. Um, 8 p.m. to 2 p.m.? 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. Yeah. And then we fast forward to uh, today, May 10th, where the sports day happens. Um, I have to wake up earlier than usual. I tried to sleep earlier this morning. Like, I want to sleep at around 1 a.m., but at the end, I still ended up sleeping at around 1.40 something a.m. And I woke up at around uh, two, uh, 6.27 a.m. Because uh, our nearest stadium is under construction. So we have to go to another stadium across the harbor. 
And so I took the MTR, aka the subway, over there. I entered the stadium and began my day. And what's really amazing is that <coughs> I and Nick were also um, uh, uh, the electric board managers. Uh, meaning that we get to uh, chill out in, a, in an air-conditioned room. And we can uh, do things and not be bored and we can chat and we can, you know, do whatever we want. Turns out there isn't an electric board in the stadium. We were lied to. We were scammed. So me, Nick and Zane, we were unemployed. Okay, we were unemployed <coughs> because our job doesn't even exist. Uh, it would have existed if we were using our nearest stadium, but no. Uh, anyway, I didn't want to return upstairs, you know, <coughs> like this is like the, uh, podium and, uh, under the podium, it's, it's the ground floor. And this is where all the staffs and officials were. And beside, beside it, it's the, uh, field and track. Uh, <coughs> anyway, I stayed there. I and Nick stayed there and I was like, yo, I want to, I want to do something. So I asked uh, the teachers and the teachers were like, yeah, you know what? You're going to be the backup announcer. The main announcer is Natalie. Okay. And I'm going to be the backup announcer because Natalie uh, is going to join like some uh, races as well. Join some competitions and races as well. So <coughs> when she's gone, I have to fill her up. And Nick was also beside me. So you know what? Me and Nick, we were all backup announcers. So that's pretty cool. I really want the entire school to recognize my fucking voice because I want to, you know, show that I've contributed. As selfish and arrogant as that sounds. <laughs> and, um, yeah, it was actually pretty awesome. Uh, I totally nailed it. And, uh, you know, the English teacher was like, hey, your accent is pretty nice. Uh. American accent, which is uh, not a very Hong Kong thing. Um, the, the standard Hong Kong English accent is more British than it is American, but the new wave accents are all American. Uh, anyway, Mary also has an American accent. Cedric also has it. Uh, <laughs> I think Sammy too. But um, uh, Tyrus and Natalie also has British. Well, Natalie isn't really British. More like a mix of British and American, but more British than American. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, in during lunch, um, I and uh, uh, you know Nick uh, went out with his other friend. So um, I and uh, Leo and Pink and Sandra, or Sandy, Sandy, and uh, and Harry and Derek, we went to uh, a restaurant. It was expensive. A fucking F. Seventy eight. Hong Kong dollars for a meal? Are you kidding me? We're just students, man. Uh, anyway, <coughs> during that lunch, secrets are passing around. There were whispers, and I'm the friggin', you know, detective. So I have to collect these whispers. And apparently, these whispers are basically Natalie and Topher had broken up. That's weird. Because... They were never together to begin with, right? Wrong. Uh, according to Pink and Leo, <coughs> they they were actually together uh, very, very, very recently. But uh, because of some things, they have broken up again. And uh, apparently Natalie now is joining Jordana's gang. And... Um, you know, they were, they were still acting as if I'm a naive... Uh, you know, um, dumb person who's not so familiar with these, you know, secrets and, you know, lies, network, conspiracy theories, gossip, uh, a conundrum extravaganza. Uh, but I'm familiar with it. In fact, I'm more familiar with it than most other people because I've experienced 7th grade and 8th grade in class C, which is the deadliest class ever in history so i i'm i'm a thinker i'm a thinker okay when i know this my first react my first thought is that 
Oh hey. Now Topher is in a vulnerable and weak position. I better strike him hard and fast. I better make a move and strike Topher. Secondly, Natalie is in Jordana's gang. Doesn't make sense. Doesn't add up at all. Natalie doesn't like Jordana. She's been telling me this since uh, since 10th grade, okay? So I was like, maybe Natalie wanted to join Jordana's gang to be, you know, friends. But actually, Natalie will betray Jordana and uh, do stuffs. And uh, when uh, San Sandy heard my theory, Sandy was like, you're crazy. <coughs> but Pink was interested. Pink, you know, Pink uh, came to me and, and she was like, what why how so i explained stuffs and um i was like oh yeah oh yeah i have a plan i have a fucking plan yes i have a plan i'm gonna you know since jordana has already acquired russell now uh onion gang has one hole because onion gang originally was uh uh <coughs> oliver selena suki and russell but now russell's gone russell's in jordana's gang now I can join Onion Gang, and I can be on a higher position. I can have, I can enjoy a higher social status, and then I'm gonna ally with Potato Gang, and with my gang and Potato Gang, we can fight Topher and and Kaboom, and uh, I also Jordana's Gang. Um, ouch, Jordana's Gang. Yeah. Ouch, my feet. Ouch. Uh, I hope uh, I hope Jordana's gang would also, uh, you know, assist me. Oh, hey, Pink just texted me um, because she had to send a, a, a link um, uh, for the um, maths homework, which I have to do. So, yeah, life still sucks. But, you know, my biggest um, pain of the day, uh, agony of the day is still... You know, seeing Mary and Linda being cool and all, but still, I'm I'm nowhere near them. Yeah, I want I want to befriend them. You know, just be friends. You know, like not like close friends, but like, you know, they're good people. Also, I just remembered that uh, at one point, uh, Henry, who's Linda's girl, uh, bah, boyfriend, Henry, who's uh, Linda's boyfriend, and uh, another um, person who was also in the same race. They tripped over one another. They tripped over one another and they fell onto the ground. Both of them. And both of them got disqualified. Linda was real pissed off. She stormed down to save Henry and that was a that was quite a sight. That was quite a sight to witness. But um yeah. May part one. <laughs>